He pays Q a sum of rupees 150 using coins 2, 5 and 10. He uses a total of 50 coins. If the ratio of 2 rupees and 5 rupee coins used is 5 is to 2, then how many coins of 10 rupee are used in the payment? Here, 2 rupee, 5 rupee and 10 rupee coins are in the ratio. 5 is to 2 is to, I'll take 10 rupee coins as X part. That is, this is like 5 part, 2 part and X part. Now, total amount is 150 rupees. That is, this 2 rupee coins are 5 part in number. So, 2 into 5, total 10 part rupees. Same way, 5 rupee coins are 2 part in number. So, 5 into 2, 10 part is the value. Now, 10 rupee coins are X part in number. So, 10 into X, 10 X part. Now, total value is equal to 150 rupees. That is, 10 part plus 10 part plus 10 X part is equal to 150. If I cancel this 0 from all these terms then 2 part plus this will become 2 part plus x part is equal to 15. Now total number of coins is 50 means total number of coins is 50 means 5 part plus 2 part plus x part is equal to 50. This will become 7 part plus x part 50 means 7 part minus 2 part is equal to 5 part which is equal to 35, 50 minus 15, 35. So, 1 part is equal to 7 means if you put the value of 1 part as 7, this will become 2 into 7, 14 and 14 plus 7x is equal to 15. That is 15 minus 14 is equal to 7x means x is equal to 1 by 7. If 1 part is 7 and x is equal to 1 by 7, we need total number of 10 rupee coin which is equal to x part. So, this will become x is equal to 1 by 7 and 1 part is equal to 7. So, 7 into 1 by 7 is equal to 1. So, number of 10 rupee coins is equal to 1. Option 1 is your answer.